all right, hi. <laughs> So I need to get ready for the day and I figured I would film it and chat with y'all. I've got some coffee, although I'm kind of hitting that point where I'm like, have I had too much coffee today? Like I might need to switch over because you know, when you get to that feeling like, I think I've had enough. So, but today's mug is a Disneyland Paris mug we got on our honeymoon nearly six years ago now. That's insane. I'm not going to talk a ton about the makeup I'm using as usual. It's really just going to be a chatty video, but I will link below what I'm using if you're curious about any of it, unless I just like feel like talking. But I am starting with the Laneige Glowy Serum because frankly, I just feel like my skin needs a little bit of a glowy boost today. It just feels a little bit wintry and drab, you know? How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing okay. I'm kind of having a blah day, so I'm excited to be filming. It always kind of gets me pepped. Just weird stuff going on politically, and there's just a lot, at least the day I'm filming this anyway, so it's just a lot going on. <laughs> so there's a lot bumping around in my brain. So I already had a list of things I wanted to kind of chat about today, but then I asked you guys on Instagram, as I usually do, if there was anything else you wanted me to talk about, any questions, so I added a few more to my list. I've got things I wanted to talk about, and then I started jotting down things faster and faster and my uh, my handwriting got really weird. Boy, and it gets deep. We'll see if I talk about all of these. Okay. First thing I wanted to talk about was something I went to bed last night thinking about, and it was why I wanted to do a coffee chat today. I really wanted to talk about my word of the year. I am gonna be honest, I used to roll my eyes, like literally until this year. Anytime I heard someone talking about their word of the year, I'm like, I don't know why, like what's wrong with me? Why am I so mean that, that, but it always was just one of those things that I'm like, okay, yeah, I get it. You pick a word to be your theme for the year. Whoop-dee-doo, I don't know. I'm such a mean person in my head, I think. <laughs> I need to work on that anyway. But for whatever reason, I stumbled upon this blog post about it and it kind of gave these like starter questions to think about. I'll link the blog post or two I was kind of looking into, but it kind of talked about things to think about with your word of the year and like ways to kind of come upon what word maybe should be your focus of the year. I just said of the year like way too many times. And then some of the blogs I looked at had like lists of like a hundred different word ideas, things for inspiration that maybe you'll hit a word and it'll just jump out at you and you'll be like, that's what I need to work on or that's what I wanna focus on this year. The word I stumbled upon that I can't stop thinking about, so I think it's gonna be my word for the year in my mind is, I just forgot it. <laughs> oh my gosh, hold on. Maybe it's not that great of a word if I can't remember it. Discipline, discipline. I feel like, and I, I know I'm not alone. Now for me, I I worked from home even pre-pandemic. So that it still had been an adjustment for me since having my child, but I'd finally gotten into the swing of it. But then with the pandemic, it just made everything weirder, right? And now even more people are working from home than they were before. And so I just feel like I have needed for the past year some semblance of discipline so that I can feel that I'm using my time at home wisely. And another thing I've realized about myself lately is that if I don't have some kind of set routine and schedule, I feel off. That's when my like depression kind of rears its ugly head. That's when my anxiety comes back. But when I am busy in some way and following some kind of a routine, I instantly feel better. That's why like a lot of the pandemic, I would dread, ugh, I hate even talking about it. I would dread the weekends because that to me was an open-ended lump of time where I didn't typically have a schedule. And I know that sounds crazy to some people, but I don't do well without them. I need that kind of structure. Maybe that's a better word for it, structure. And so, I feel like this needs to be my year of finding that discipline and that structure that I so crave and that I know that I need. I just feel like this is such a perfect word of the year for me because discipline can affect when I wake up in the morning, which has been a big problem for me this year, when I uh, work out and how often I work out. And if you watched my goals video, which should be up by the time you're seeing this, if it is, I'll link it below. But my goals for the year, I do have a fitness goal and I do have, you know, different things I'm working towards. And so I feel like focusing on discipline this year will be really good and really healthy for me. Like I said, pandemic or not, that's something I've been craving for a few years now, ever since I worked from home. And I think this is the year that I just need to do it. I need to find my way. And you know, a lot of things have changed and we luckily have help with our daughter, which changes a lot for me because then I do have 
focused time to get filming and editing and just all of the other stuff that comes with it. You know, a lot of people like to, I mean, even people in my own life, some family like to giggle about my job, but I'm like, you know what? Um, it is what it is. And this is a job I have right now in my life and I love it. And it takes more work than I think some people realize. It's not that it's, you know, horrible, hard, you know, work. It's not. But it's the fact that it does take more work than maybe most people think. And at least if you're doing it the way I'm doing it, I guess, where I do put a lot of thought and care into a lot of the things I do. And that, because that's the way I like it. <laughs> so that is my word of the year. I'm excited about kind of keeping that swirling around in my brain. I've seen people do like vision boards with like their word. Because for me, I think I always giggled because I would see people's words be things like joy or passion. And I'm like, that's just not something I feel like I, not that I didn't need to work on those, but they, I, maybe it was just that they didn't resonate with me and that's why I've never really thought much about it. But then once I found a word that did, I'm like, okay, I kind of like having like a themed year and that's going to be my theme, I think, unless I change my mind. <laughs> so another thing, actually I got to move some stuff so y'all can see it. Another thing I got is this new planner and it's from, a lot of you guys recommended this. It's from Gold Coil, no, Golden Coil. And you can pick every single page that goes in this. Like it is totally customized and they have so many different page templates. So like for me, I was able to add in like social media pages where I can put in my plans for social media posts and like sponsorship project posts. And then of course my normal like daily plans. So like this is what each day would look like. So I really like this setup and I love that it's totally personalizable. Now, because of what I put in here, this is actually only like four months. So I'm going to have to get another one because I put so many pages each month for different things. Now, I think most people could get six months and six months and it is pricey, but man, I, I'm really loving it already. And I've only had a couple days. If you'd want to see like a dedicated video, it wouldn't be very long, but a dedicated video to what pages I picked for mine, let me know. Cause I'd be glad to do that. Something different. And I'm super into planning and organizing and I would love to share that with y'all. So let me know. Another question I've gotten a lot about of questions about <laughs> was uh, what's gonna happen with vlogs now that Vlogmas is over. We are still planning on vlogging. We are taking a week or two off here in January because well, that was a lot of vlogging day after day. But the way we'd been doing it with the pandemic and everything, I'm using the L'Oreal Age Perfect powder foundation by the way. The way we'd made it work during the pandemic was we just did one vlog a week and we hadn't done that previously. That was not a thing we used to do, but we thought, you know what, we're at home. We're a little more bored than normal, so it was just something fun for us to do, and some of you guys really liked it too. So with Vlogmas, we were doing it every single day, and it was a lot. And so we decided this year what we're gonna attempt is only on Tyler's channel, they won't be on mine, but on his channel, which is Tyler Travels TV, shameless plug, we are gonna do vlogs twice a week. So there'll be a couple days together in each vlog, that way we don't feel that pressure of like, we need to be vlogging all day long, because that's a lot, and it starts to detract from your life away from the screen too. And so we, we're trying to keep our mindset on that, that we don't want this to affect our daily life so much that we don't even feel like we're like living our life as normal people anymore, because that is a, there is a fine line. I really do think there's a fine line. So to toe that line, we're just gonna do two in a week. Some weeks might just be one if we just, you know, whatever we were doing, maybe it wasn't conducive to vlogging. And I'm sure we'll take a week off here and there throughout the year, but that's our plan. So we'll be starting that here soon in January. So if you're into vlogs or you miss Vlogmas and you hadn't subscribed yet to his channel, definitely do that because that's where they will be living. Now I will still do sometimes like day in the life style vlogs. I'm gonna force myself to use a different bronzer. I just wanna use my L'Oreal bronzer that I love, but I'm gonna use, I love this one too, the e.l.f primer infused bronzer is really awesome. So I'm gonna use that today. So I'm still gonna do like day in the lifestyle vlogs from time to time on my channel. I did continue my partnership with HelloFresh this year, which I'm so excited about. This is like our third year working together and I love HelloFresh. You guys know, that. I mean, I genuinely do. I've gotten it as gifts for people. This is not sponsored, they have no idea. But with that, the vlogs are so conducive to that and I love doing day in the life vlogs. So I love that that's a great excuse for me to do them because I would do a day in the life vlog every single week if I could. I don't know what it is about the format of them, but I just enjoy doing them. I don't know, I just do. I love throwing music in there and it's just something, it's like a passion project, <laughs> a very bizarre passion project, but it's something I enjoy. So I'm excited to continue that partnership because they they just meld so well together. So that was an exciting uh, 
thing to happen for me in this new year as well. I'm gonna use this Honest Beauty Rose Pink Cream Cheek Blush because I really, really like it. I just haven't used it in a few weeks. I just like to do this one with a stipple brush. It just seems to work a little better and a little bit does go a long way. Like I might need to tone that down a bit, but you can get Honest Beauty at Target. I always blow on cream blush. <laughs> Jessica, that's nothing. I do think the L'Oreal bronzer is a little more forgiving. Like with the e.l.f. one, it's awesome and it stays really well throughout the day too, but I always feel like I do need to blend it a bit more because it has a little bit more, like it's just a little bit darker than my L'Oreal. So I need to be a little more careful with it. And I hate being careful. I'm working on an e.l.f. video very soon, not with e.l.f., just of e.l.f. products because there's a lot of new launches that have come out recently that are just so exciting. So I figured that might be a fun kind of first impressions video I will share with y'all very, very soon. I actually was gonna film it today, but uh, one of the products I wanted to talk about, I thought I already had and I didn't. So I just placed an order for it. So I'll have to film it here in a bit. So another question we got was about the COVID vaccine and if we were gonna get it when obviously we can. Heck yeah. I, I'm gonna, I wanna link something below. It's got language so just fair warning, it's not a video, it's actually something you read, but it does have language, but it explains the vaccine so well in a way that if you were kind of, I mean, we all, I think most of us understand how vaccines work, but for whatever reason, reading it the way this person put it, helped put it in even easier to understand terms, and it was also funny the way they, <laughs> and it convinced me even more that I would want to get the COVID vaccine. So read that if you're kind of on the fence. If you're on the fence, that might be a good thing to read because I think it explains it really well, basically what's going on and how and why it would work and why it's important. So quite frankly, that's just my feelings on it. I am all about vaccines and I am definitely going to get it when it would be available to us, you know. What are your thoughts? I'm kind of curious. Oh my gosh, I am literally on my last tiny bit. This might be the last day of my L'Oreal Le Liner signature. So another thing a lot of you guys asked about was how are we keeping our sanity with the pandemic and COVID and being home more and you know, uh, are we? I don't think anyone's doing like great. One thing I always subscribe to is the idea that humans can get used to anything. That can be a great thing and a terrible thing, but we really can get used to anything. And I feel like if I've learned anything from this past year is that we could get used to being home all of the time and not doing the things we would normally do. And when we do go out like to the store or whatever, we're wearing a mask, you know, you make those adjustments that are important and that's that. And I just feel like there are some things we have done that I feel like has helped us. We just dove straight into playing more games. You guys know we love Bananagrams and Phase 10 and like playing cards, but we've now been playing Scrabble a little bit more. We, what other game did we discover? Uh, I don't know, but so many games. So I just feel like that is one of those coping mechanisms that we've held on to that in the evening, you know, we can be watching TV, but beyond just doing that, it's fun to be playing a game. It's something to do together that's enjoyable beyond just watching TV and movies. You know what I mean? So that is one coping mechanism that has been fun. We never really got into the puzzles. So that was kind of our way of getting into the puzzle craze without it being puzzles. Tyler, my husband likes puzzles, but I, I don't know, man. I don't have the patience for them. <laughs> but another thing we've gotten into even more is just cooking and baking. We both like to cook and bake, but really getting into trying new recipes. Like this last week, we made like three or four brand new recipes of things we've never ever made before. And it was so fun. And some of them we really liked and some of them we're like, yeah, we're probably not gonna make this again. But it was one of those things that it forces us to get out of our comfort zone. It gives us another kind of enjoyable thing to try and to get better at. And I don't know, that's another way, like for sure, cooking has been a huge, and baking has been a huge part of our year. Even though we were already into it before, we're even more into it now. So if you've never really gotten into cooking, I mean, it's a great way to do it. And you know what? It keeps your mind busy and it keeps yourself busy and you can learn a little bit, you know? I realized that I have the blackest black. Is that what I, yeah, I have the blackest black of this. And I think ultra black is the one that I really liked. And I think that's the one Taylor Wynn always recommends. And I screwed up. So once this is out, I'm definitely gonna get the ultra black. My mom's in the other room. <laughs> and I'm listening to her talk to A-L-E-X-A. -E and it's hilarious. She speaks so clearly to it. It's amazing. 
Mom, if you're watching, you amaze me. So another thing I got asked about a lot is religion. I don't share a lot about that on my channel. Not, I mean, I talk about that I'm a Christian. It's such a tricky subject to talk about because everyone has their own personal belief. Even amongst Christians, my gosh, are there so many different beliefs. So I never want y'all to feel like when I'm talking about religion that because I'm a Christian that I would think less of you or differently about you if you were a different religion or had no religion at all or whatever. I don't care. <laughs> to each their own and people believe what they believe. And that's the thing about, in my opinion, that's the thing about belief. It's what you believe. So you can't, I don't think it's fair to look at anyone differently based on what they think and believe. So that's kind of my stance on that. Um, I don't really talk a lot about my particular religion because I am not totally sure what I am. <laughs> I was raised in one religion. I'm not totally subscribed to that religion. And so I'm kind of in a limbo right now in my life where I know that I believe in God and in Jesus. And so that's why I would consider myself a Christian. But beyond that, I'm kind of figuring it out. And I think that's a beautiful thing. I think it's important for people as they become adults to look at, if you were brought up in a certain religion, to look at it and think, is this what I believe? Is this what I agree with? And that's been, to be quite candid, a very emotional, very tough journey for me. It just has been. And I'm still on this journey. And so that's where I'm at. And that's why you don't hear me talk very specifically about it. But I do share about, you know, I might share about like the Bible I'm using or like the other day in a vlog or whatever it was, I talked about uh, Bible tabs I got for Christmas that are really cute. That's why I don't talk about it a lot. I would like to talk about um, my beliefs more often on my channel, but I also don't want to alienate. Sorry, there's crazy stuff going on in the world right now and my entire family is texting about it. I would like to talk about it more, but I also don't want to alienate those that don't believe the same thing I do. And that's why I just splash it in here and there. Perhaps from time to time I might make devoted videos to it that way. If you are someone that doesn't believe the same as me and you're not interested, you don't have to watch it. And so we'll see. We'll see what the future holds, but that's kind of where I'm at with that and why I'm not very specific about it when I'm asked about it. That's, I mean, everything I told you today is about as specific as I can be. I come from a very, very religious family that very, very strongly believes what they believe. And we clash over a lot. And again, that's not the worst thing because that just tells me I don't want to blindly subscribe to something that I don't necessarily agree with. And so that's why, that's why I'm in this limbo, okay? I And if you're in a limbo like me, you know, keep, working on it, keep thinking about it, keep praying about it if that's what you do. Like, that's just all you can do and I'm just trusting that God will lead me in the direction I'm supposed to be going. That got deep. I'm proud of myself for not getting emotional. Usually I get emotional about that, but I think I've thought and prayed so long and hard about this that now it does feel a little more natural to talk about it and that I think is a good thing too. This mascara is awesome. It's the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. The stuff that doesn't like flake or anything, it is fantastic. This is now the second one of these I've had. So another question y'all asked about was, how do you keep a healthy marriage? Listen, I am not the go-to guru on this because we still argue, we still fight. I've talked about that a lot. But one thing we've been doing lately that I do think is good is, you know, when we're having those moments where one of us is in a funk and it starts to affect, you know, the way we're talking to each other. I thought I'd turn this off. But when one of us is kind of in a funk where we feel like it's starting to affect like the way we're talking to each other and the way that we're, you know, acting around each other. And in that way, it could lead to an argument or a tiff, you know? One of us usually will kind of see that the other person's like, well, you know, what's going on there? And we'll say like, are you okay today? And I just feel like, especially like when he said that to me, like to kind of recognize that I'm not quite being myself and maybe something's going on. Like I, you know, maybe I'm PMSing, maybe I, I'm just in a bad mood because I woke up on the wrong side of the bed or maybe something's going on and I'm stressed about work or whatever it might be, that has made a huge difference because not only does it show me that he's noticing that I'm not being myself, but also that he cares and also that I can then talk about it or maybe I hadn't realized I was being that way or vice versa because I've done it to him too. He can realize or I can realize like, yeah, what is going on? Like, why am I acting this way? Am I just stressed? Am I just tired? Am I hungry? You know, whatever it might be. And I just feel like that has helped so much in the past few months of just kind of taking a minute to like look at the other person and be like, you doing okay today? 
it's made a big difference and you feel like you matter to someone. You feel like you're being noticed. And so I challenge you if you're, oh, sorry, I have so much spit in my mouth. Hold on. <laughs> That's so gross. If you're, you know, if you and your partner feel like you're at each other's neck a lot more lately, whether it's because you're at home a lot more together or whatever the reason might be, maybe try that on them and see. They might be taken aback. They might be like, oh, and that's one of those things that that can get the ball rolling on figuring out like what's going on really. I don't know how to silence my iPad. What is going on? So I'm popping on my Insta. By the way, my Instagram is at it's Jessica Braun if you're not subscribed yet, but I'm popping on to see if there were any other questions um, that I didn't catch the first time. So one person asked about my favorite junk food and that I always talk about healthy stuff. Um, Y'all, it's funny. I have never considered myself like, not that I'm not a healthy person, but like, I like to eat and I like to enjoy a burger. And I like to enjoy chocolate. And so I hadn't really realized until recently, like how often I'll talk about something that's kind of healthy on my channel because it feels weird to be like, and now I'm eating a Reese. Do you know what I'm saying? I obviously still eat. I guess I shouldn't say obvious because maybe it's not obvious. I absolutely still eat, you know, stuff I enjoy like candy and you know, I just don't eat it all the time. I try to be smart about it. And you know, that's just that. But I am not a person that can successfully deprive myself of something. I just can't. I know that about myself. And that's why big crash diets and stuff like that don't work. I just won't do them. I might be able to keep it up for a week. I will be miserable all week. I'll hate it. It's just not worth it to me. And that's why I would rather be able to enjoy what I like, but just do it in limited quantities so that I don't feel like I'm sitting down and eating an entire bag of mini Reese's, you know, I don't know. But yeah, so I do still enjoy them. So my favorite junk food would be Reese's for sure. I love Pringles. Like when we go on a road trip, I always buy a can of Pringles. Like it's my favorite. And I don't even care. I Guys, I'm sorry. It's my iPad. I don't know how to turn the sound off on my iPad as it turns out. I turned it all the way down. Hey, Tyler. Anyway, yes, I like junk food. Yes, I still enjoy it. Because I just don't think, at least for me, and I'm sure many of you guys too, it's not feasible for me to just not have something I like. It's just, I gotta moderate it and not have, you know, have it in moderation. So many of you guys are asking, when will I take y'all to Meyer with me? And I also get a lot of questions about like, is it Fred Meyer or Meyer? It's actually not Fred Meyer that I go to. We don't have one near us. It's Meyer spelled M-E-I-J-E-R. <laughs> Love that store. It's just like a grocery store, superstore type pl tight place in the Midwest. I love it because frankly, they have everything and it's not just food, but they've got like, all my rings are from Meyer. All of these cute rings y'all ask about, not my wedding ring, but all of these are from Meyer. They're just like sterling silver ones that are like always 70% off. So they were like 15 bucks each and I absolutely love them. So I can't link them because I get so many questions, but that's where I got them. <laughs> but anyway, maybe one day I'll do a purely Meyer haul. <laughs> but I know it's such a small subset of people that can like actually go to one, but it still might be fun. So I might do that someday. Let me know if you'd be interested. So I think that's all I'm gonna talk about today. I hope you enjoy these coffee chat videos still, these chit chat kind of get ready with me's. I love doing them. It's just like one of the few times I get to just sit down and chill and talk, talk with you guys without talking about products or what I'm doing, you know, cleaning or cooking. It's just an enjoyable time for me. I hope you enjoy them too. If you want to watch another coffee chat right now, I will have my coffee chat, get ready with me playlist down below. I've got tons of them if you want to sit and chat some more. I love you all. I hope that you'll subscribe. I do upload three videos a week, every week, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.